Hello, and welcome to a world of inspiration, where design dreams become reality. Join us as we capture the essence of a remarkable project, from the heights of Great Wall Apartments in Imalalongo to the heart of an incredible transformation. Stay tuned for an exclusive interview with our esteemed client, where they share their experience, their vision, and their profound connection to their newly transformed sanctuary. Let's hear their journey and insights into this incredible transformation. Could you kindly share how you first learned about Design Point Interiors and what made you choose our company for this project? I was referred to Design Point Interiors by the people I bought appliances for from the kitchen um, called Pneumatic. Um, I went to the showroom, I looked at the setup of how the kitchens have been done and I asked one of the attendants there, do you know somebody who can do this for me? So I was referred to Walter. Um, the person who referred me uh, basically said Design Point has been able to work with them on uh, projects like the one I wanted to do and that Design Point also was familiar with their appliances uh, which means that they knew how it could be fitted, how they could be arranged in a kitchen. They'd done it before and she even showed me the portfolio of the things that Design Point had done. So I got Walter's contact and then I was able to call him and uh, have a time to speak with him. He sent me also some additional material which I could see what he'd done. And so that is how I got to uh, meet Walter, but I was also very uh, keen to ensure that I looked at the work he had done to uh, compare it versus what I was thinking of doing. That's fantastic. When you decided to work with us, what were your initial thoughts, expectations, and design ideas for the project? Well, because I've not done this before, I wasn't very sure, of course, of the kind of turnaround time, how fast the work would be done. Uh, I relied quite a bit on Walter to just give me estimates of both the work required and the timelines. Uh, my expectation, of course, was to come very close to what I originally had. I had some uh, design concepts that I had seen online. Um, so I picked out one particular thing that I you know, there's a kitchen that I thought looked very close to what I wanted to do. Um, then I had the time to talk with Walter and explain to him whether I could achieve. And uh, my expectation was to come to as close as possible as that design was within the space of what we had and the appliances that was going to put in the kitchen. It sounds like you had a clear vision in mind. How was your experience working with our team throughout the entire design and renovation process? Um, the experience was very transformative. Um, this was as, you know, I think in terms of building, it was a small project because we were just working on the kitchen, uh, dining room area and sitting rooms. That notwithstanding, I learned a lot. I was very involved myself also in just the, like every aspect of how the design was done. And my experience, I can sum it as very satisfying. I found Walter and his team to be very responsive. Um, there are things that we had to keep changing as the project went on because of, you know, there are things you don't anticipate. For instance, um, the appliances that I bought, there's a way I thought they would fit in the kitchen. But when we came to the kitchen, I discovered the space wasn't too accommodating. So Walter really helped me with the redesign of the kitchen. He came up with a concept which I liked, so we worked on that. I found that the people he works with, the technicians, are also very competent. Like they were able to deliver to the highest standards that I expected. Uh, so in the instances where I felt like it was not satisfactory, we were able to change that and rework it. I didn't find them struggling to cope with the changes as they went along. I did not find them struggling to adapt to my requirements. And in every time that whatever we did, we always executed it to the highest level. So it was very satisfactory in terms of the experience of working with Design Point and also the team that Walter has, you know, just really good at what they do. Each one of them is able to do what they have been given very, very satisfactorily. Now that the project is complete, how do you feel about the final look of your kitchen, TV unit cabinet, and living room wainscoting? 
Did it meet or exceed your expectations? First of all, the project grew from what I had thought. I thought I was just basically going to work on the kitchen. But Walter also showed me what he's done with living rooms, interior design, and I particularly loved the wainscoting idea. He showed me how he'd done in a similar project somewhere else, and I just fell in love with the idea. I, I felt like I must have that. I had had an idea of um, doing a two-tone, you know, a, a little bit of mixing of some two colors within the space of the living room. Um, but if I had gone ahead with the plan I had, it wouldn't have looked as good as what happened when, you know, I incorporated the part for wind squatting. The colors that are in the kitchen right now are not what I started out with. I had thought of doing a different color scheme. However, because of the design of the cabinetry, I felt that that color scheme would have been too overwhelming. And so, again, I relied on Walter to regroup and redesign that. So we came up with a different color scheme, which is now what we have, the gray scale. And it turned out very well. It married well with the interior design for the living room and the dining space area. So in hindsight, I think that was a better approach to do it rather than what I had in mind. The concept of how the kitchen looks, the cabinetry, the way the appliances are spread out, uh, the countertops, the backsplash, um, the tiling, the lighting, the arrangement of the instrument panels, all those things have come out exactly the way I wanted them to come out as we worked on the design, as we perfected it. What we were looking at, the renders, is actually what was actually executed. So that, is, that was very pleasant for me. Uh, for the living room, the cabinetry that we did, again, it was a design that I worked on in collaboration with the designers at uh, Design Point. I picked up sort of like a baseline kind of TV cabinet feature, and then we tweaked some of the spaces, we changed maybe the dimensions of the compartments uh, to accommodate some of the things that I knew I wanted to put in, like the you know console for gaming and so on. And again, just executed exactly how it was supposed to be. Um, I was looking at the space beneath it to house some things. Again, it came out that way. The doors have all just been done exactly the way I wanted them to look like. So I'm very happy with how just the whole project turned out. It's, it's worked out very well. That's fantastic to hear. Are there any particular design elements or features that you particularly love in your new spaces? I like the marriage between the colors that are in the living room and the kitchen. It feels like it's one continuous theme without it feeling like boring. You know, if you just maintain one particular scheme, it can get a bit colorless and you feel like you're getting tired of it. Uh, this is something I feel is timeless. It will look this way for as long as possible without having to feel I have to upgrade and modernize the way the house looks. So the wainscoting particularly it gives it a very classy look. It gives it a very enduring look. I feel like I can live with this for as long as possible. I loved also the cornices that were done for the ceilings. Um, they speak very well with the wainscoting. Um, the other thing I like about um, the kitchen is that I got good advice from Walter. I was uh, thinking of putting uh, the backsplash and the tiling, uh, the subway tiles. But he told me because the, you know, the kitchen is relatively small, we need to create an illusion of space. So what we did is uh, we came up with tiles that are larger. The blocks are a bit bigger than subway would have looked. And that makes the kitchen look bigger than it is. Then, of course, the backsplash at the place of the cooking area, the mosaic. I think I was fortunate or blessed enough to find something that agreed with the overall color scheme of the kitchen. And so the thing blends very well. I like also the way how the cooking area, the hob, sits under the hood. It's very central in the kitchen. They're spaced very nicely. Um, you don't feel like they're skewed to one side or the other. Uh, they sit just nicely in the middle of the kitchen. So there's a sense of balance and things spread out. It's very organic. You feel like it's very ergonomic. If you're working in the kitchen cooking, you don't feel like you are a bit, you know, having to turn to one direction too much. Uh, the implements for cooking are very near to you. Um, they are spread out nicely. It's very intuitive where you get your ladles from. It's very intuitive where the oven is positioned, where the sink is. 
So you feel like the kitchen helps you in your cooking experience. You don't think like you are having to run around the space, you know, picking this thing and the other one. Um, I like the style of the countertop. I was going to do a different countertop because the color scheme that I had previously, I thought of doing sort of like a gray countertop. Um, when I changed the color scheme, um, then again, I also relied quite a bit on Walter to give me uh, samples for the countertop that I ended up with. The white shade speaks very well with the tiles that I got. So if you look at the whole thing, you would think that I procured all this material in one particular space. I didn't. And it's, I think, just a function of just how competent Walter was and how versatile he is. In, in just picking up things and telling you this this can go with this. I know a guy who can help you with this or the other thing. Uh, so my really crazy OCD was helped because he was able to just come up with everything I, I was thinking. I want to do this. He would come up with the answers for it. How do you feel the new kitchen and living room have improved the overall functionality and aesthetics of your home? If you look at the furniture in the house, you'll notice that most of it is dark. I mean, the, my seats are rather dark, my coffee table is dark, my small TV cabinet or stand is also dark. So when I was uh, working on this, I wanted a very bright color, or rather something that was, would offset and mute the, the dark furniture that I was having. So when I now look at the final product, I'm realizing that uh, I've achieved that. You don't feel like your eyes are pulled to any one direction. You're, you're free to roam around the space and look at everything because the, the colors are, are distributed well. Um, the curtains that I got spoke very well with the color scheme that I came up with. And so I like that that is just how it looks. In terms of functionality, again, I've been able to get a lot of utility in the fact that this uh, TV cabinet helped me to pull some of the many things that were consuming spaces out from the living room. So I feel like the living room feels a bit bigger than it is without it feeling too huge or we feeling too cramped. It's just good enough space. I like the way it looks. And it is the design concepts that we were able to work both in the kitchen and in the living room that have been able to give me that sense of functionality. I think the outcome of it is I like it. And it wouldn't have happened if I had not made the choices I did. I've not been assisted in the choices that I made in coming up with the final outcome of the product. During the project, did you face any challenges or concerns? And if so, how were they addressed? Well, typically with every renovation or building, there's always the challenge of timeline. I mean, I thought we could do this faster than we ended up doing. And part of the fault is mine. I mean, I kept changing a few things here and there, I kept moving things up and down. I remember initially the first thing we were to do was the kitchen. And the timelines that Walter gave me for the kitchen, he actually met them. I was able to finish the kitchen and put it up as soon. When it came to the wainscoting, the cornices and uh, the TV cabinet, because that was an additional thing that I threw we in, it extended the timeline. So it was really touch and go because we were working with a period where I was set to move out from the house that I was living in to this place. So I think that was a challenge. I mean, just the strain that came along with trying to meet deadlines. But in, with my limited knowledge in real estate, I get to hear that a lot, that you know, timelines are always overshot. So that was the challenge we had. Um, there was also a particular time when I felt that uh, what we were trying to achieve with the countertop was not working out. I think the first cut of it had uh, um, was, it didn't come out very well in terms of where the sink sits in. Uh, fortunately, again, Walter was able to rectify that and basically repair that without it you know, affecting the overall delivery. But I'd say the things are minor, but the project was delivered anyway, finally, at the timelines required. Now, on a scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate your overall satisfaction with the services provided by Design Point Interiors? I'd say about... There's always room for improvement, so I won't say 10. <laughs> uh, I'll say maybe 9, so that there's still room to improve by another one. But I wouldn't say there's anything that I expected Design Point to do that didn't happen. So I'd, I'd, I'd give you a 9 out of 10. We're thrilled to hear that. Would you recommend our services to your friends, family or colleagues 
looking for interior design solutions? And do you have any plans for future projects with us? I definitely would recommend anyone who is uh, thinking to do this, family, friends. I definitely would work with Design Points in another project in future. Uh, I think I understand your processes well, I understand your style of doing things well, uh, and I like your standards of just how things are done to the highest quality. Uh, I definitely would do this again. What I know definitely is that if there's anybody who wants to do a project in the style that I did, that you're involved, that you're right there on the ground, you are making decisions and you are selecting things, I would definitely say Design Point is, you know, more than adequate. Thank you so much for your kind words. As we conclude, what message would you like to convey to potential clients? I'd say um, it's very helpful to know what you want. Being vague, I think, is, does a big disservice to uh, designers and experts because if you want something to come out in a specific way, then you've got to just say it clearly. It helps a lot if you have a provider like a Design Point who knows how to interpret things you're saying to actual reality. There are some concepts I had which I couldn't explain, I couldn't put in words because I didn't have the language. But Walter could feel sort of like, this is what you're trying to say, he would show me samples and I would say, yeah, this is exactly what I'm talking about. So be involved. Don't imagine something in your mind and then just expect somebody who is delivering it to you to read your mind. The other thing is ask as many questions as possible. In the process of this, I also learned a lot. I was able to find out why are things being done the way they are because these are professionals. They know what they are doing and they know why certain things are ordered the way they are ordered. So appreciate them. These are people who are doing work they are qualified to do. And those are things I would say to anyone who's thinking of doing a project like this or something similar to this from my own experience. As our insightful interview drew to a close, our gracious client extended an invitation for a personal tour. Join us on this exclusive walkthrough as they guide us through their transformed living spaces, sharing the highlights and the essence of their vision. Yeah, so the kitchen I have here was not my initial design. But now that I look at the finished product, this is the best design it could have been for the space that we have. The appliances I have, the layout, and uh, there are a number of things I like about this kitchen. I like the fact that it is it feels that it's very open uh, facing into the living room. I feel like the some person who's in the kitchen is not cut off from what's going on in the rest of the house. The other things that I like a lot about this is just what the countertop you know, provides for in terms of just more space for working, for eating, for just hanging out, for putting things that are uh, you know, part of the process for eating. The cabinetries have been done very well. I think when the camera pans in to see just the way the uh, space has been done. It's very neat and classy and timeless. I feel like it's something that I can stay with for as long as possible. Uh, when I look at um, inside here itself, the shelving and the cabinets, they open, you know, I think I hear they're called butterfly, the way they open this way. So I think it's, it makes sense as opposed to them opening in one direction. Uh, the effect of that is nice. How the hood fits in, uh, with the spacing of the uh, cabinet size. Down here we have the oven and um, my thought, in my own imagination when I was working on this, I thought that would do the design where the oven and the microwave are put in the same tower, but the space is small. It wouldn't have worked out very well. It would have created some challenges in terms of just how the space feels and how you maneuver around it. And so I'm grateful for, you know, design points, design that said, you know, let's split this thing until make it a very, a very workable. Uh, initially, I thought of putting the microwave probably somewhere here on the counter. That would have been a bad idea, I mean, now in hindsight. So we ended up fixing it at the at a corner of the kitchen and it's, it sits very nicely. The tap here is a mixer, so it, it's powered. And the other thing that I feel like was well achieved by the design of this is that the cabinetry that is here, the things that we've put, the appliances and the tools and the utensils and the stuff you need for cooking 
are very well centered within this place. So you don't have to keep running to this side to pick stuff, to bring to this side. And that is only possible because the design anticipated that, so that the cabinetries are allowing for us to put ladles and put uh, the condiments for cooking on that side and so on. So this is like a mini pantry where, you know, foodstuffs, cooking things are. And so that also worked out very well. I love that it is open, which means, you know, you, it, it just adds dimension. There's variety to what you're looking at. Easy access, you can be able to quickly scan what is on each of the shelves without having to open something and figure out whether it is in or not. The other thing that I think I'm happy about is, is just the space that was created for this fridge. This fridge, I had it from before, and I, I just feel that, you know, Design Point really came through for me because, you know, I gave these dimensions to the team, and I said, this is the fridge I already have, can it fit? So the measurements were done and the housing for it was actually just put in well. So it fits in very nicely and neatly without being cramped, but also without consuming more space than it needs to. Lighting is good. I feel this is sufficient. It makes the room or rather the space uh, well lit. So yeah, so that's about how the kitchen looks. I don't think I would change anything about this kitchen. If I was to do it again, I would do it exactly the way it is. This is the other space of what the work we were doing. I think the major thing to note here is just that uh, the wainscoting running all the way from the door. So this stretches all the way to the curtains. I was able to get curtains, I think, which also agree with the overall theme of the room, so that is nice. But the key design thing was, of course, this TV cabinet or stand or, or, or wall feature. I took a, a baseline design. The size here was designed so that it can fit the size of the TV. Then this was deliberately sized for this side for the, for, to fit the console for PlayStation 5. Then the other thing that is of note is that I already had this piece also. This part was an old TV stand, so I wanted it to just enter into this. So we measured and made sure that it can fit in without having to either stick out or not be too tall or too short for that space. You look at the dining, same thing happens in this spot here. We have, this again is an old feature. We already had this, so you can see the furniture for the dining space, the furniture for the living room, and they're all very dark. And so that's why, you know, I looked for something a little bit more colorful, this blue, to just bring it out so that, you know, it can really break that sense of uh, dark colors. Um, these were already existing, but now they fit so well in this color scheme. You might almost think that they were designed to blend with this, but I think it's just one of those fortunate things that happen in design. It's a happy accident. It came out very nicely, as well as that uh, painting there. The key thing was this one. This is what we were working on. I like the way it came out. It's strong, it's solid, it's, you know, fixed to the wall. Uh, it has a lot of room, so it, it will take a while before I fill this place with books. There's still lots of storage down here, but it still doesn't look too busy. It doesn't look too monotonous, too boring. So in short, that's the entire project. This is what we did with uh, Design Point and Walter and his team. Kitchen, living room, a TV stand in units. Good experience, enjoyable. I feel like I achieved everything I wanted to do and that this thing will last me. Quality of finishes is very good. Uh, cleanliness of the look is also very good. The aesthetic, just the sort of I don't know, sense you get by looking around the house. It's very nice, very pleasant, very open and light. Could it be happier? I mean, I, I have achieved what I was set out to do. The thing has come out exactly the way I had planned it to come out. No complaints. I am happy with, you know, just the whole, you know, outcome and output of it all. As we conclude our mesmerizing journey through the transformed spaces, we want to extend our heartfelt gratitude to our esteemed client for allowing us to be a part of your journey, for sharing your dreams, and for entrusting us with the privilege of bringing them to life. It has been an honor to be a part of this remarkable transformation. From all of us at Design Point Interiors, we express our heartfelt thanks. May your newly transformed spaces continue to bring you joy and inspiration. Design Point Interiors. Style. Quality.